Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this one. This is lesson six in the Sonar for Dummies series. I'm gonna put the links to the first five down in the description because it will definitely help if you watch those first. I'm not gonna talk for very long. I'm gonna get right to the video. I have some really good video here. The most common comment I receive is, where is the fish after it leaves my A-scope? How do I catch that fish? Where exactly is it? In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything I know about that and how to find that fish. We have more technology than ever before. And the only time we truly know where that fish is, is when it's in the A-scope. After that, it's just in the history and that's a moment in time. It's not a moment in distance. But our technology is fantastic these days. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to keep an eye on those fish and how to track them as best you can. Thanks for watching guys. Let's get to it right now. Please subscribe if you haven't and give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out guys. Love you, mean it. That was a school of white bass right there. But if you want to set a waypoint on it, you can just touch it. Hit your check mark. Waypoint that cursor. And now we have a mark on it. Come over to our chart. And there it is. That's that waypoint right there. So the most common question I get about a fish finder is... After you pass over a fish, they want to know where that fish is. And it's kind of hard to describe. You got to keep in mind that after you mark a fish, anything that's in the history is just a picture of what you passed over. The scroll speed has nothing to do with where those fish are. Imagine if all the fish are on the screen, you take a screenshot, and now that screenshot just moves over to the left and out of your way. That's what your history is. It has nothing to do with where the fish are. It's just a moment in time. So everything that's in the, the A-scope here is directly under the boat now. Once it's past that A-scope, this is just a history. It's just a picture of what happened. That does not help us at all finding the fish. The quickest way and easiest way to find out exactly where those fish are. Look at this, a boat coming in between both of those. The easiest way to find those fish is touch the screen. You just touch the screen here on those marks. That fish is 107, that mark is 112, 117. See, it's getting further and further away from us. But now we know where that mark was doesn't help a whole lot because we don't that fish is swimming you know we don't know where that fish is but we're using it to find isolated schools so it's quite difficult to know what happens when the fish leaves the a-scope we don't know where that fish is there's really no quick answer for you all we know is what's in the a-scope right now once it leaves us it's just a picture that's moving away it's just a still picture that's moving away from us this may help you here determine where these fish are after you've passed over them all the Simrads are like this, and I believe most of the late model Lorances are the same. You just touch on any mark here, and it tells you where that mark was. So you can see it, the number is 175, and it's growing as we're leaving it. So the short answer is, if you want to know where that fish is, or where that mark was, just touch it. it tells you where it was. That's the best way. Now, the fish obviously could have swam away, and I'm sure it did. But for those of you asking, you know, after the fish passes under the boat, where the heck is it? Well, our transducer is looking down. It was under the boat. It was the depth it says when it passes through the A-scope. After we leave it, the fish could swim completely different in a different spot, different speed could be gone. We could scare it away, who knows? But for a good guesstimation, just touch it on the screen. Look down here in the bottom left, 312 foot, and it gives you an idea of how far away from you are. If you want to put a waypoint on that, just go ahead and do your check, waypoint. And now we go to our chart. You're going to go ahead and see that waypoint right there and these machines are tied together if you have your machines networked you can set a waypoint on one and it'll set it on all the other ones that are networked but that's basically my advice if you want to know where those fish are here's an osprey yes sir yes sir oh sir. my goodness <laughs> never mind oh it's gonna go off there we go fish on fish on fish on fish. go get it go get it. fish on back there Got three of them. Oh my goodness. <laughs>